So this demo is going to show a couple of the features in um, Adaptable 9.1, which was released 1st of September 2021. Um, we're using the public Adaptable demo site. Um, and the first one we're going to look at is the suspended items demo. Um, and as the title explains, in Adaptable 9.1, you're now able to suspend um, anything in predefined config. You don't delete it. Um, you don't need to, to get rid of it altogether. You can merely turn it off for a short while and then reactivate it as required. So for instance, you can see here we have two buttons, one to suspend all styles, one to activate all styles. So if I click this, we suddenly see four conditional styles. I can turn them off, I can put them all back. And what's happening there is that in this conditional style popper, we have these four styles. So for any individual style, I can suspend it. You then have a line that goes through it. You can see the style no longer appears on the screen, but it's available for me to reactivate as and when required. Um, so that's all it does. It's a way of turning off something temporarily. We can see another example here. We can see that the item count column is flashing. So every second it's ticking. And each time it ticks, we get in a little alert at the bottom. Um, so let's um, have a look at that. So we can see here, if you wanted to, I could actually turn it off here, and then I will no longer get any alerts. Um, but we've actually added another way. If we go into Edit, and we go into the Type and Display, we can see that we have added a button called Stop, and we've attached that to the suspend action. And um, we can see that's live. So for instance, if I change this to suspend, and then let me change it to say neutral, there's our button. And now we can see um, it's still, we have the alert, but then when I click the suspend button, the alert will stop even though the um, column will continue ticking, we'll see that it's been turned off by wiring up that action. So there we are, let's put it back on again. So there we are, that's suspend. There's a couple of other small things that we've added to 9.1, and they're mainly around tool panels. Tool panels used to be, um, it's like the poor cousin of dashboard. So we've added many items that were in dashboard also to the tool panel because the tool panel is this area here down the side. And essentially, it's very useful for when screen estate is at a premium, because you can hide it, you can see the full grid, and you can push it out. So in this example here, we've added a couple of custom buttons. One is wired up to quick search, and the other one is sending some system status messages. And if you have a look at the code, you can see here, we've added a custom tool panel. By default, um, adaptable ships with um, 10 or 11 uh, module tool panels, you can see them all here. And again, it's now much easier for you to set in your settings which ones are available um, and whether they appear or not. But as well as the adaptive, as well as the module tool panels, you can now add your own custom tool panels. So in this example here, We've added um, three tool panels, one's called Trades, one's called Deals, and one's called Orders. And then we've just given it some content. If you're using um, one of our frameworks, our React or Angular wrapper, it's a slightly different way of um, providing the functionality, but it's exactly the same outcome. And then we, here we are, we can see there's the Trades, there's the Deals, and there's the Order. And of course, they appear um, as normal tool panels, so I can obviously make them invisible and I can treat them how I want. So there's a couple of things in Adaptable 9.1, the ability to add your own tool panels and to have more control over the adaptable tool panel at the side of the grid and the ability to suspend birth, um, objects that you want to turn off for a short period. There are many other features but they're just a couple. As always, thanks for watching and please get in touch if you'd like to learn more.